Welcome to Sunfire Designs. Today I'm gonna pour a really tweaked version of the Blooming Stone. I don't know if it's gonna work. Honestly, everything's just kind of an experiment to me right now, but I wanted to give it a try. So I have mixed up 140 mils of Estoyo resin. This is a mold by Resinable Creations on Etsy. As always, I will put links to everything in the description. I have mixed up dark. My dark color is dioxazine purple. That's not it. That's not it either. Where is it? Right here. Dioxazine purple Liquitex. One of my favorite, favorite colors. Deep, deep, deep dark purple. Probably going to drown out everything else I have. For my push, I have Liquitex turquoise deep. And that's about half of my stuff is push. Um, and then for my white, I increase the amounts of the dark and the white and decrease the amount of the push, trying to see if that makes a difference. Um, my, for the white, it, it is cast and craft plus some uh, Estoyo bright white pearlescent powder. And I'm gonna pour it just like a blooming stone. So let me get my thing here and we will see if, if, if what happens. I don't know, it might end up being horrible. I really have no idea. It's fun though. It's fun to experiment. I like to experiment. I just like to see if I can come up with something a little new or different or creative. Um, you know, I see so many people create all these beautiful things with their own original ideas. And I've had a couple like inspired by ideas that maybe weren't a hundred percent original, but you know, inspired by other things I've seen. But then again, you got to think that there are so many things out there that there's tons of stuff that even if you think you create on your own, you didn't. So what it really is original anyway, right? All right. So now I'm going to pour the purple around the outside here. That is a lot of purple. It actually looks kind of blue, like almost phthalo blue color in this light and against the blue. And that's going to kind of close that up. I'm going to stop. There's a little bit more left in here, but I'm going to stop. Um, and then I'm going to do the white. Okay. And see how this goes. And I have a feeling I'm not going to use as much of the white either. I mean, I want it to do something, but I also don't want to take it over with white. You know what I mean? I think that's good. And then I'm going to do my push in the center. And I'm going to scrape it out because I actually have... Because I didn't use as much of the others, I um, I want to make sure I fill my mold up. Okay, and then I want to use this. I want to use this glitter, which I probably should have saved some clear aside for. That's not smart. Maybe I can get some clear some blue out of this cup here. I think I can get some blue out of here. I'm gonna try to put just a little bit in here. All right. That's not very much, is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me try. <laughs> let me see if I can get some more. Okay, that's better. That was not good planning on my part, was it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm amused by myself. Okay, let's try to add a little bit more. Okay, here we go. All right, there we go. 
Now I'm gonna poke it down, I'm gonna torch it, and then we're gonna cross our fingers and our toes and really, really hope that something <laughs> something nice happens here and it's not a total waste of resin. But you know what? At least I got to experiment and that's that's fun to me. I feel like I have maybe too much white, but you know, I won't know until it's time, right? All right. I'll put it on a little time lapse. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it closes up and um, if nothing else, we'll have, you know, a nice paperweight, right? Or we will have learned something. It's like science. You have an experiment. Sometimes you know what's going to happen. Sometimes you don't. It's the process. And then you learn and you figure something else out. So, all right, I'm going to put it on time lapse for a little bit. Not for too long because I'm going to go to bed, but just a little bit. And then I will see you when it's time to unmold. Okay, I'm not sure what to expect with this. This is my experiment. All right, here we go. Oh, that came out so cool. That came out so cool. A little off center there, but I don't care. It, it still came out really cool. What do you think? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye.